Good morning, it's Andy Kelly from Sundial Consulting, uh, here with the seals. <laughs> I'll try my best. Um, the question this morning on my mind is, why do we get so defensive? Um, Ken Blanchard famously said, feedback is the breakfast of champions. And after working with 600 leadership teams in 35 countries, we agree with him. You know, feedback is a gift, right? It helps you to get that rare commodity in life of self-awareness and really getting to know yourself. Um, it allows you the opportunity to fully understand your strengths, to uncover blind spots. It helps you to understand your weaknesses and the root cause of them. It helps you to start to unpick what you believe in and what you're about and what is your potential. Um, it helps you to carve away insecurities that have been holding you back as you go on through your life. It helps you to, you know, just take yourself lighter, um, yet gives you a weight of gravity, of gravitas, which builds charisma um, and followership. So, you know, if it's so useful, why do we block it? Why do we get so defensive? Uh, I know I do. Um, you know, I spend a lot of time trying to help people through feedback, trying to show them how we see them from the outside, right? We all see ourselves very differently from the inside uh, versus the outside. And, um, you know, it's disappointing. Um, it saddens me, actually, um, when people just defend it and don't take the time just to let it sink in, just to let it percolate. Um, so why do we put that block in place for ourselves? Why do we put that self-imposed learning block in place? Um, why do we come out with that kind of warlike stance when we get feedback? You know, I often give feedback to people and they get the shields up and they get the weapons drawn. And you've kind of lost already. Um, and it is a shame. So why do we do it? Uh, at the end of the day, we're just animals like these ones over here. <laughs> um, our nervous system and our brains are scanning for danger five times a second. You don't think about it consciously, but it's happening. Um, and some of us have a more sensitive nervous system than others. You know, some people love to skydive. Some people love to uh, repel or go on roller coasters. Some people don't. Some people have a more sensitive scanning system for danger. Some of us were treated more roughly through our um, childhood, you know. Some of us were treated unfairly. Um, and we build up these defense mechanisms to stop it hurting us. So um, how can we change that? How can we open up the opportunity for people to give us feedback? Um, firstly, just breathe. When you first hear something that pinches you, that doesn't match with your own view of yourself, um, just breathe in and breathe out. Get curious, right? Um, why do you say that? Uh, what impact is that having on you? Uh, what impact is that blind spot having on me uh, or the team or the business? Um, maybe just try to find one thing in the feedback, one small component of the feedback that you agree with that you can start a conversation. But at the end of the day, that feedback they're giving you is their reality so they can't be wrong that's how people see you and they're behaving on that basis around you um, so look you know it's difficult <laughs> I find it difficult um, but start to see if you can practice ways to bring in feedback to help you build that real self-awareness find out who you are and what you want to be good luck and stay tuned Andy